a next level delicious pastrami spice salmon rye bread sandwich. Now there's a mouthful. Welcome to the Next Level Kitchen, where we are taking your skills to the next level by showing you great tips, tricks, and delicious recipes. Yes, and now, uh, Gordon, there's, there's something uh, fishy in the kitchen today. <laughs> Richard, please keep to the cooking, not the comedy. Today, we're going to be showing you one of our favorite fish, salmon. And this is going to go to the next level. But before we start cooking, let me tell you what I do with the tail of salmon. You've got what cut? I'm going like top tier here. I got the center cut of salmon. Love that. So what are you doing? I'm going to do very simple, like a uh, salmon for four people, like a family feast. Nice. Um, I'm going to do a pastrami spice salmon sandwich finished with almost like a sort of cream cheese and a beautiful soft pickle. I'm a native New Yorker. I feel like this is for me, Gordon. Uh, tails, you know, everyone wants to turn them into tartare uh, or they know what to do with them. So I'm going to turn this thing into a beautiful sandwich. Right. Beautiful. OK. Now, first off, the tail. Um, so it's a little bit sort of unwanted. Give it a nice season. What I said earlier about the pastrami sort of seasoning, it's a mixture of ginger, coriander and allspice with a little touch of sugar in there. So what that's going to do is sort of almost get that salmon nice and dark. So it's like a sort of blackened salmon. Now, these are the tails, OK? And this is the bit that gets thin one end and thick the other. So the best way to use these is inside that sandwich. Now, once that salmon is coated in that pastrami spice, OK, let it sit there for about a minute and let it sort of absorb into that salmon. This is an oily fish. So as it starts to sit, the oil comes out and all those spices permeate. Oh, I love that. It's taking me home. It's taking me home. The Lower East Side of New York. Let's go. Beautiful. Now, what are you doing, Rich? All right, so like very simple. People get intimidated when they're cooking seafood, so I'm not even going to cook it in a pan. People are worried that the fish is going to stick to the pan, that they're not a pro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the center cut. This is for maybe two, three, four people, and I'm just going to put it in a oven-proof baking dish and just bake the dish. It's that simple. It's going to go into the baking dish. I have salt. I have pepper. Of course, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to season both sides. I'm not going pastrami. I'm just going salt and pepper. You could add whatever spices you want. And then to the pan, I'm going to add all of my aromatics and all of my flavors. So lots of oil. Uh, we're almost making like a, a, a sauce in the pan with the salmon. So layer the oil, bottom of the pan. My salmon, look at this beautiful center cut filet, is going to go right into my pan that's going to pop into the oven. And then I'm going to load onto the pan all of these amazing aromatics. So really, I'm just going to sort of layer some lemons on here. Everyone knows that citrus works really, really really well. Lemon works fantastic with seafood. I would say, Gordon, that citrus is like, or vinegar or citrus is like the next level exactly thing. Exactly right? that. Also, ounce of salmon needs lemon. So I've sliced my salmon now lengthways. So I've got that beautiful pastrami rub on the outside. And when you're cooking salmon like this, the nice thing about it, it cooks so quickly. So I've got that nice spicy texture on the outside. The fish is oily. And what it does need, OK, is a little touch of lemon. So, before we use the juice, get that zest and zest that lemon over that salmon. And look, you can see it literally takes two minutes to cook this salmon. I Once love you... that. You're using the oh, zest. Honestly. People and also, throw that away. Exactly that. Turn these over and look, you can see how they're just starting to sort of caramelize with that spice. I'm going to roast that lemon zest on there as well. Flip these little bits of tail over and then from there, on the other side as well, a touch more. Love it. Now, from there, literally, once I've got the sear in that pan, turn off the gas, OK, and just let it sit there. It sits and rests and marinates at the same time. That looks delicious. I love it. And salmon is so forgiving, right? Because it's Absolutely. got so much fat and so much oil in it. I took some steamed potatoes. I throw that in the pan. Make sure every element of your dish is seasoned. Salt, pepper on the potatoes. Look at the salmon. It's buried in all of these herbs and lemon. I'm going to pop that into the oven. It's going to cook for 20 or 25 minutes. Uh, and then that is going to be done. Uh, real quick, fast forward 25 minutes. And there it is, my salmon cooked, just baked. You don't have to cook it in a pan. Maybe you're not that skilled. This is the way to do it. And then I have these beautiful potatoes I'm going to make a ranch dressing horseradish sauce with. Wow. 
You love that ranch dressing. What is it with you and ranch? It's in a, it's, I just love ranch dressing. It doesn't get enough respect. If I said buttermilk dressing, would you have more respect for it? I would. You would, I exactly. Would. So I call would. it buttermilk dressing. Horseradish and salmon, a classic combination. It kind of works with the pastrami flavors Big that time. you have over there. Big time. So how do I lift up the acidity in this sandwich? Um, it's called a quick pickle. I've got some water, some salt, some sugar, some beautiful white wine vinegar, a red onion, coriander seeds, peppercorns, and this, a little bay leaf. Bring that up to the boil. Again, quick pickling, and just let it sit there and soak. So, let's work this out. Salmon sat in its oil without pastrami seasoning. We've got the quick pickling, and this are the layers that bring this sandwich together. This is rye bread, okay? So, how do we get that rye bread packed with even more flavor? Touch of olive oil into your pan. And all I'm gonna do now is just toast so I've got that crisp texture on the outside, that nice, oily, beautiful flavor in the center. Lightly season the pan first, which then helps to season the bread. And then literally get your rye bread in and just get that sizzling in the pan. Now, check out that salmon, honestly. Just have a look at that there. Rich, have a little touch. Looking good. It's spicy, it's oh, delicious. I love it, and again, because it's got so much fat in it. For the home cook, it's, it's an easier fish, perhaps, to cook. It's so good. So good. Love this. Finishing up my sauce over here, I'm throwing mayonnaise in with all of these dried herbs, some chives, some dill, a little bit of buttermilk as well. That's gonna give it another layer of acidity. And then I'm just gonna toss this together. Uh, and then I'm gonna toss my potatoes in my homemade horseradish ranch, ranch dressing. And of course, I can't forget if it's horseradish ranch dressing to add the horseradish, nice and spicy. And we have these spicy, acidic flavors that are gonna work wonderfully with this fatty, rich fish. Love it, love it. Now, this is where our sandwich goes to the next level, the top tier, rye bread, nice and crispy, okay? But before I start putting the salmon and the onions on there, beautiful cream cheese, okay? A classic, especially when it comes with the salmon. Spread that on generously, okay? You can see it's just starting to melt. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. From there, I'm gonna spread it on both sides. Think about it. Salmon, cream cheese, rye, fresh dill, okay? Just lightly sprinkle the top of that rye bread with that fragrant dill. Now, you can see how we're building in those next level flavors. From there, a little bit of zest again. Onto the sandwich, that's right, literally. Now, we've got the zest off the lemon, okay? There's another part. The juice, watch. Before that salmon comes out of the pan, you just sprinkle that lemon over the salmon. And now, for the magic moment, okay? I'm gonna take my nice long layers of salmon. One, two, and let's go for the small one here, three, over. Sit that on top, then, Take those beautiful quick pickled onions, sit that on top, and look, Richard, even before we close that baby up, you can just see how delicious that oh, is. Not only that, delicious, look how colorful. Yeah, you got the acidity, the red, and the orange, and the white right there. And then look, that beautiful toasted rye bread sits on top there. I'm just gonna literally, I've gotta cut this, because I'm obsessed with this sandwich in, and then literally lift that up and that amazing, beautiful salmon pastrami rye bread sandwich. And then just hit that, a little touch of green. And these little pickles are gonna be on the side. Just literally bite and pick, bite and pick. And then we have a next level delicious pastrami spice salmon rye bread sandwich. Now there's a mouthful. There it is, Gordon, and I'm finishing it up over here. I have my potatoes tossed in that homemade uh, ranch dressing, a little bit of pickled beets. We've just flaked the salmon off of the larger piece. And there it is, look at that sandwich. Look at that fun little plate there. Beautiful. Hungry again, let's go. That's how you take and elevate your dish to the next level. 
Now, to get the ingredients and more details on today's recipes, check out the description below and be sure to subscribe for more amazing recipes from this genius and this genius too. Well done. Good job. Yeah.